All right, so it's episode 12. I'm just uh, getting some stuff ready here for going to work on a first generation canola plant or canola power plant. So I was just preparing a building and a path out to it. I'm probably only going to do like, you know, up to refined canola this time. I will save uh, upgrading it to crystallized and empowered later. Probably... Oh yeah, here's the building I made. So this is where the canola is going to be, and I'm probably going to run it over via immersive engineering wires, probably. But, uh... I'm probably going to upgrade it to the higher tiers of canola later. Especially after I get the stuff from the end so I can do it the whole uh, integrated dynamics method. For now I'm just going to do it with some uh, probably thermal dynamics like fluid ducts and stuff. I'm just going to stick that right there for now. Actually, I don't know what quite where I'm gonna put it yet. I still gotta make. Uh, I still gotta make the canola press and the fermenting barrels and the oil generators and such. I've been doing a little bit more work, so now the it's the proper shape now, and I put in some of my manual machines here. I need to start running more AE2 wiring around so I can have more terminals and stuff, but. Uh, I think for today it's going to be all about power. And then I'll save this as just like backup reserve power if I need more. We're doing pretty okay for now. But uh can always use renewable power. So I want one of these presses. This is going to be just a basic setup for now and then I'll upgrade it later like I said. I do want a couple of these because they're kind of slow. I do want a couple of these. Oh, right, and I need. And I need a seed, and I need a dirt. Nope, that's all sand. So I was thinking about maybe having the power come in from here, possibly. But I'll hook that up later. So maybe what I'll do is I think I'm going to sit this here. I'll probably put it there for now. Oh, you know what? I need a chest. Yeah, I'm going to need a chest to take the output from that. Yep, I made this neat little path here with some gray concrete, which I always forget that that gives you a speed boost. Although I'm not sure if that's vanilla or cork. Hold on, I gotta find out. Okay, and I'm back. I only just now realized that it wasn't capturing desktop audio. but So I'm not sure which mod is actually giving a speed boost to vanilla concrete. Because it's definitely not that way in vanilla. I'm just not sure which mod is doing it. I don't see an option in Quark for it, so I don't think it's Quark, but who knows, I'll have to do some other testing. It is neat though. So anyway, so this is gonna be just a quick and dirty setup for the canola generation here.
I will rewire this later. Let's see, I think I can pipe in that, and that. Okay, it doesn't take water from that side. There we go. Can take water from that side. I always forget which side it can take water from. So now it's got the water and the canola. So now it's going to start growing. And then we're going to want the canola press. It needs power. It needs items. I want one of these. All right, that's working. I'm pretty sure that I can just uh, put these next to it and they will drain into it, or it, the, it will drain into them. And then I should be able to Where's my wrench? There we go. Oh, look, it has more stats now. That's cool. Kind of run it under the floor here. You know what I wanted to do, though? I wanted to make a buffer. So let's tear this out real quick. As I wanted to make a buffer system so that it would uh, get a small backlog. Nope. Oh, I guess I don't even need a servo on there. It auto outputs. That's nice. And then maybe I'll go a little higher. So I wanted to be able to use the auto outputting of the thing to. a lot more ugly now, but I really wanted that backlog to happen. A 
sleep real quick. All right, let's mount the wall now. Probably. Hmm. I was thinking about maybe hooking up a second cloche, but I don't think I'm going to do that until I uh, clean it up and make it look better. But it should be fairly stable now until it fills up with canola seeds. Presses. Use the servo. So it's working ugly, but I'll clean it up later, like I said. I think once it gets a backlog, I'll hook it up to that uh, HV connector over there. Or, yeah. Hopefully it gets a backlog with just one. Maybe I should go ahead and do two. the filter is it going to work come on yep okay. there we go and I guess forget about using the auto eject of it and just uh we'll use the auto eject of that though okay that's item duct so 
additional blue oil goes out of there, goes into these. They auto eject into that. And that's an item duct again. Then they go into the generators. A little bit cleaner. The ultimate goal and final build, though, will be using integrated dynamics and integrated tunnels, though. And it'll be very powerful, but I need cores for it from the end for that, so it's got to wait. So they're making 160 RF per tick. That's 4,000. I need a way to... That's 1,000. Hmm. I need a way to get power out of it back to the base without it running out of power. I guess I could use another energy cell and just uh, cap it. So I don't want to cap the main one that it's feeding off in there. Nope, stop clicking that. Hopefully, it takes say hopefully the cost of this and these will be less than the like 60 can I just do that'll leave it 20 RF per tick which I think it'll be fine with and this actually needed to go down another one. This way I won't be as reliant on coal. So we're not losing power in the cell, which is good. Oh, okay, that wasn't gaining any power. Whoopsie. Let's just spin this around then. Okay, we're not okay, we're not losing any. I'm using HV just for the distance, and eventually I'm going to have other things out here producing power running into there, probably. So for now, though, I'm just going to run one line out here, which hopefully it reaches. It reaches, and I should get shocked, right? No? No shock? Did I still have that turned off? I might. Because I had temporarily turned it off because the wires were not always showing. Okay, that's strange. Yeah, like, there, it just 
glitched out of existence, but that's fixed in the next update. I just haven't updated the pack yet. That's strange. It should be damaging me. Because it's an uninsulated wire. Oh well. So this should be continually making RF. Is that... Why... Isn't this working? Okay, that was weird. Maybe it had accidentally gotten a little bit of a refined canola in the duct and clogged it. Yeah, yeah that's better. So I think that's a nice start of a... Uh, low-grade canola power plant. So that should be helping out. I can probably just uh, turn this off for now and just throw a lever on it for if I need more power. And we're still gaining, but that might just be because the cell has a lot of power in it. You know what? Instead of making this by redstone, let's make the cell by redstone. That way these guys don't lose their cache of power. And we're still gaining. Slowly. That's good. So that might be it for this episode, I think. In a little better place with power. And uh, next episode, maybe I will work on rewire, like uh, actually running wiring and permanent wiring for the ME system and such, maybe. Maybe start working on the roof that might be a good thing to do or maybe rebuild the mob farm so i don't know we'll see what i feel like doing so i guess until next time see you later <laughs>